find the extremal for integral 0 to 2 y dash dx under the constraint integral 0 to 2 y dx equals 1 given the boundary conditions y of 0 equals 0 and y of 2 equals 1. This is the functional which we have to extremize and this is the constraint functional. Let us denote the functional which we have to extremize as i and the functional which is the constraint using j. Thus we have i equals integral 0 to 2 y dash square dx and j equals integral 0 to 2 y dx equals 1. Here we have capital F equals y dash square and capital G equals y. We have capital H equals f plus lambda g which is the new function and thus capital H equals y dash square plus lambda y where lambda is the Lagrangian multiplier. We have capital H will satisfy Euler's equation that is dou h by dou y minus d by dx of dou h by dou y dash equals 0. We have dou h by dou y obtained as lambda because partial derivative of this expression with respect to y will give lambda's value since we will consider y dash as constant. Similarly, we have dou h by dou y dash obtained as 2y dash taking partial derivative of this expression with respect to y dash treating y as a constant. Thus, our Euler's equation becomes lambda minus d by dx of 2y dash equals 0. d by dx of 2y dash is 2y double dash. Thus, lambda minus 2y double dash equals 0 is obtained from which we have y double dash equals lambda by 2. When this equation is integrated both sides with respect to x, it will become y dash equals lambda by 2 into x plus c1 where c1 is constant of integration. Again, when this expression is integrated both sides with respect to x, it will become y equals lambda x square by 4 plus c1 x plus c2 where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants. Now, to this expression of y, we will apply the boundary condition and we will try to find out values of c1 and c2. Applying the first boundary condition y of 0 equals 0 in the expression of y, we will get y equals 0 and x equals 0 to be substituted in this expression which will give c2 equals 0. When you apply the second boundary condition y of 2 equals 1 in the expression of y that is you are giving y equals 1 and x equals 2 in this expression of y which will give us after simplification c1 equals 1 minus lambda by 2. When you give the values of c1 and c2 in the expression of y it becomes y equals lambda x square by 4 plus 1 minus lambda into x by 2. Since we have the constraint functional given by j equals integral 0 to 2 y dx equals 1, we have this y to be replaced by this complete expression. Now we will integrate the LHS with respect to x and we will apply the upper and lower limits. After integration and giving upper and lower limits, we get 2 lambda plus 3 minus 3 lambda equals 3 from which we get lambda equals 0. Thus, we have c1 equals 1 minus lambda by 2 becoming c1 equals 1 by 2 when you give lambda equals 0. We can rewrite the expression of y. y equals lambda x square by 4 plus 1 minus lambda by 2 into x as x square by 4 into 0 plus 1 by 2x giving lambda equals 0 in this expression. Thus, we have obtained y equals x by 2 is the required extremal which will extremize the functional i.